That's right. The budget motel chain Motel 6 has a new owner. The New York-based investment firm Blackstone announced the Motel 6 has been sold to a hotel operator based in India. The deal is an all-cash transaction worth $525 million. The purchase also includes the sale of the Studio 6 Motel brand, which, if you didn't know, uh, caters to customers wanting extended stays. The deal is expected to close at the end of the year. And uh, if you've ever stayed in one of those, the, it's very small soap. Like, yeah. Yeah, like sudsing up and it's gone. But with this Just new saying, merger... Right this new, it's like a wafer. The new owner is going to keep the lights on for you. There, oh, there you go. So there you go. I know. Sorry, Reagan's laughing. There you go. She can't. I know. Coming soon to a theater near you, upgrades designed to get you off the couch and into the theaters. The eight largest movie chains have announced they'll be spending more than $2 billion, billion with a B, all to get you back into the seats. The improvements include better screens, sound systems, plus more comfortable seats for you. A growing number of theaters are also adding arcades and bowling. You said you want cheaper popcorn. I would like it free, but I will take a $5 tub instead of $400. And also, I would like a chance to do, like, popcorn, butter, popcorn, yeah. butter, I don't popcorn, that, butter. I would never you don't eat that? Eat It'll kill you. It's something. It's like, know, it's supposed to kill us. I am just saying, I better food, I think, would be a good <laughs> I just, I'm, I'm observing. I, I, like, don't even know where this is going. I'm, like, imagining the butter popcorn yeah. layers. Yeah. Because, you know, it's all on the top. and then I know. The then you get down there, and you're like, do, like what is this, packing material? Right, but isn't the butter not real butter? No, no it's no, horrible. It's, it's, like, it's I don't know what. Meanwhile, this one's like I get a wafer at Motel Six. I get I get butter, fake butter laid with popcorn. You should hear our what conversations off screen. It's, I know. it's a lot of. Uh, My apologies. You have no idea what, what I go through. She knows. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? Why we're can't all... the weather be eighty today? Why all right. Can't enough. It be enough, Pedro. <laughs> enough. You all right? You're done. Trying, Mother Nature You're here is looking at me like he's serious. I'm like I know, I know. Listen. Pedro has a point, okay, because summer's over, but this is a great day to start fall. I mean, take a look at those blue skies. We'll have a couple of clouds, 62 right now. Do not worry. Those clouds are just off to the ocean at this point, and we have no rain in the forecast today or tomorrow. So talk about a really strong start to fall. Take a look at these temperatures. We're in the low 60s throughout our area. Future cast, we remain that way. We'll get up to 74 as our high today. This is at 515 tonight. And again, it's just light clouds in the area, a couple high clouds. There's air that's coming down from the north. So what that is doing is going to cool things off. The rest of the week is going to be cool. It's going to be in the upper 60s, low 70s, really perfect this time of year. And then we go into tomorrow morning's commute again. The beginning of today is much going to be like like tomorrow might have a couple more clouds but it's going to be a high of 72 71 tomorrow so it's going to be again a nice day and dry now tuesday things cloud up for us we're looking at rain coming through the area likely in the evening late evening on tuesday and then wednesday is the day we're going to see the rain out there so you're going to need your umbrella on wednesday monday you'll need that light jacket in the morning tuesday you'll need a jacket because it's going to be pretty cool in the upper 60s and then wednesday it's going to be rainy and cooler rip curtain risk if you're thinking of heading to the beach just to squeeze out another week in the summer uh, the new york and new jersey coastline we're looking at that high rip current risk and then the coastal flooding too and the high tide cycles um, just four portions of southern queens southern nassau county and also southern new jersey this afternoon 74 is going to be our high beautiful fall beginning and then 56 tonight nice calm night mainly clear Lows in the 50, like lower 50s northwest of the city. Tomorrow, 71 degrees for New York is your high. Partly sunny, remaining dry again. And I said, Tuesday, we're going to have mostly cloudy skies. Wednesday, we're going to see the showers. Look at the highs here, okay? So think about the wardrobe when you're going in this week, okay? So today's the first day of fall, 74, 71 tomorrow. Clouds gather Tuesday, Wednesday, the rain comes down. Thursday, the rain sticks around probably until the afternoon, evening, and then Friday looks like it's going to clear up. That is your week ahead, everyone. Enjoy fall. Set that intention. We will be right back. After Israel's targeted bombings against Hezbollah, Martha Raddatz reports from Tel Aviv, plus the race to the White House with just six weeks to go. This morning on ABC's This Week. Join us for This Week, this morning, starting at 10, right here on ABC.